Hey, back once again, another wrestling orientated video. Before I get into the brunt of the subject, I have to say this month's issue of Power Slam has a great interview with Rob Van Dam in it, just basically going over the stress and the guilt of um, fans wanting him back in WWE and um, start his inner dealings like with the hierarchy there, like Bruce Pritchard basically telling him to kiss ass and then Vince will make you champ and stuff, and um, his feelings on TNA, and dealings with Misawa as well, and yeah, it's a very interesting interview from Rob Van Dam. It's not really the usual preachy kind of interview he's been giving. It's pretty good, so I definitely recommend that to any person in the UK that can obtain Power Slam magazine. It's a very good wrestling magazine. I've been buying it since 96, something like that. But yeah, anyway. So they finally did it to my man, the Brian Kendrick. They finally released him. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm kind of upset about it, but I'm also not as well, to be honest, because they were using him as a bit of a jobber. I mean, there was that flutter last year, flutter of hope, that he was getting a real good push. He was in that title scramble match, and he he was the man of that match, in my opinion. And then Triple H, just within a few minutes, just, I don't know, to me, it was a bit of a burial, to be honest. And that was a good, a good, um, oh... A good example of Triple H kind of going in there and plundering someone within a little bit and making them look small. I thought that was pretty shitty and he never really recovered from that. And it sucks, you know, because even though to many, Brian Kendrick probably wouldn't seem like a WWE title holder or something... I think he would have been a great addition to the mid-card, and I would have liked to have seen some interaction with Shawn Michaels, seeing as Shawn Michaels trained him, and there's also this recent storyline that just got dropped about him looking for a tag partner, and um, I think, yeah, it does kind of suck that he's got released, I mean, it sucks for anyone to lose their jobs like that, but if he's still going to be involved with wrestling, I think he'd be a great addition like coming back to ROH or TNA, I can't remember whether he was in TNA or not. He has been everywhere. I haven't really seen a lot of his indie work either. That's something I've yet to delve into. But he's one of these people in WWE that I have kept my eye on. In the years like 2003, 04, during his first run with them, I wasn't really paying much attention to mainstream wrestling or any products there and then, but whenever like, I was at my friend's house and they had Smackdown on, Brian Kendrick always caught my attention because he was a bit smaller than the rest of them, like the Brock Lesnar's and John Cena's and all that, but he had some kind of character and charisma about him and I really rooted for him. And when I like got back to fully watching it again, like in the end of 2006, I was glad he was there with Paul London in that tag team. I thought that tag team was awesome. And it's a shame, in a way, I thought it was a shame they had to split up and not much got done with them. But, yeah, there you go. I did kind of call this when he got drafted to Raw. I mean, getting drafted to Raw on a show where, like, the main event people are just there, basically. There's a big glass ceiling on Raw. And um, not a lot of people are busting through it right as of now. Hopefully that will change. I still think Brian Kendrick could have had a great US title feud with Kofi Kingston or MVP or someone like that. And it just sucks that we don't get to see it. Sure there's like rumours of him like sparking up or whatever in the back, but like lots of WWE superstars have had troubles of stuff like that and gone on to good things or just or it's just been ignored and they've been given the title. Hello, Randy Orton. Hello, Jeff Hardy. Yeah, it's like, fuck's sake, you know. There's lots of double standards in that company. But 
I know it's a bit monotonous, me having to talk about someone released yet again, someone fired yet again, but I was a fan of the Brian Kendrick, and it, I actually liked his, like, gimmick overall of the Brian Kendrick. I know it was hit or miss for some people, but I thought it was cool. I liked the cocky swagger. Remind me of a bit of Brian Pillman, a bit of old Shawn Michaels. And I thought it was a good dynamic and added something interesting when they were actually pushing him. I mean, I haven't paid attention to the last month or so of Raw, so luckily I haven't seen him job to Jerry Lawler or Hornswoggle. But yeah, I just think it's kind of sad, but hopefully he'll stay wrestling and he'll move on to another company and be something great. Yeah, that's just some thoughts on the Brian Kendrick. Let me know what you think.